graffiti in the garage. Shit. Yeah, it's properly bad. Who practices graffiti? Not AJ. Not anymore. His mum's never laying in near aerosols ever again. What about deodorant? He's got these wrong. Squirty cream? Bam. Bud, bud. She's got work this afternoon. Left him at home with Tez. Reckons he can, fingers crossed anyway. Reckons he can slip past her, get here in time, bring a load of booze to make some sort of punchy cocktail thing, like a proper high school party, like in the films. Try and move past it if you can. Pretend it never happened. Pretend what never happened? It's already up to me to say, is it? Um, maybe just say. Oh. Well, pretend Matt never asked AJ out? He didn't. Yeah, AJ said you say that, and loyalty's a real ace quality factor, so. What? Just saying, AJ's offering Matt's white flag here, and being the bigger guy, he doesn't have to do that. But he's lying! Please, can we just. It's fine. Really, though? Really? The important thing today is Anita. We all get to see her. Tell her we miss her. Tell her she's ace on her birthday. Maybe also have a dance. Exactly, exactly. So we can just get to the party spirit. In here. Yeah, we'll make it look properly nice. Properly birthday. There is balloons somewhere. I have a hunting. And she'd be like, amazing delighted. Completely amazing delighted we did this super mega event thing for her. You have. Well. I'd have probably just dropped a card round, had a chat, in case she wasn't up for it. Parching in that, after the saddest month of her life. Oh, 
But then, I'm not completely in love with her trying to get out of the friend zone every minute for the past four years. But, 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 but if she's not up for it, everyone could just, uh, everyone could just finish their biscuits and go home. There's biscuits? I made biscuits! Have one! Oh, wow. <laughs> this is Danny, everyone. <coughs> Anita's not up for it, just sending everyone home. Well... Yeah? I mean, I feel like they won't mind. They're more used to sort of more structured extracurricular activities anyway. Orchestra, D of E... Everyone's open up. Big door on that. Cheers. Three big and three separate strands? No, 
Shall we put some through there? Like the entrance as well? Good plan. Alright. <coughs> Having some issues. I literally just said I don't want to talk about it. Right. Everywhere. 
where just crosswords in bed doesn't see me for who I am anymore, which is, apparently, an empowered sexual being and a potential vegan. Treading water, Mum says. Treading water until I go off to uni and there's no point anymore, is there? There's no point! No! And I was just like, Mum, I really don't want to hear this safe for the rain. Her best mate, the rain, not the rain, Kelly. But now my dad's texting. Apparently he's in town looking for my mum, so you know, leading directions. But I was like, oh, I'm really sorry, Dad. You know, I would love to help, but unfortunately, I am stuck at a shit non party with Stacey's semi mates in the middle of nowhere. Bye. I mean, we could go back to my nap if you want help a bit, so I can be there for the showdown. No thanks. I mean, I've literally spent the last 17 years of my life watching their marriage disintegrate. Mum's word is not mine. I mean, I know exactly what she'll be saying. Too little Alan, too little too late. He'll look all forlorn or whatever, probably cry a bit. Just like he did in the middle of Moana. I'd rather be here to rest, which is saying something.
matter. One word for nay nay. Not a word. Oh, it flipping is! What's Fanini? As I was singing, I was like, Magda, this is actually worse than you originally thought. Lesson learned, stop singing. On the plus side, it's not long. It's catchy, though. Really catchy. Also, you know, true. Shit stuff does happen. Good stuff, too. Oh, well, cheers. My mates in your fibbing, but... Mm. Danny? No. Oh, I'll breathe out the window. No, freak out. No, it's just you can't. We don't smoke, any of us. It's like a thing we don't do. I'm not asking you to smoke. We're anti-smoking, strongly. I'm anti-singing, strongly. Did it stop you? Put this away then. She doesn't mean it. Face.
Why? Well, she's not from round here, and she's just disappeared by herself into a renowned dogging hotspot as night falls. Don't. Do you want a hand? No, it's fine. Well, what about the party? What about the party? No, 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 no! <laughs> people, I do not understand people. Understatement. Oh, shut up. You're not even invited. You're grounded, so. Oh, you're grounded, so. You're grounded, and I'm meant to be keeping an eye on you. Only reason I'm here. No offense, everyone. Dante. I'm just doing what I have to do the moment. Looking after you, making sure you don't start doing any more flipping graffiti. Oh, it's not so flipping graffiti if it's in your mum's garage, is it? Well, I hope you're practicing for something a little bit more public. Otherwise, it's just a bit sad. Go Tess. Shut up. She's showing off. I'm not showing off. Yeah, I've already mum will get mad and love the house. Blame her. Chancellor straight to Harry Potter world. Well, yeah. Oh, such a... Dick. I just really like Harry Potter, and I'm just stuck. Yeah, you're a dick. Ow! You're a dick. Come on, come on, say you're a dick. Come on, come on say you're a dick. Hey, say she's going right. Say you're a dick, and I'll let you go. <laughs> no! Oh, fine then. You're not a dick. My mistake. Thank you. You're a Slytherin. Shut up! Oh, that's what a Slytherin would say. Yes. Hey, I've seen you. I've seen you chatting to snakes, disrespecting ourselves. Muggle. Oh, hating on muggles. That's a new one. I let her go. AJ, let her go. Harry Potter, like a disarming amount. Shut up, too.
actually going on? Well, I'm mixing these, aren't I? Um, making it all nice. Why? <laughs> also, mate, I, I was thinking it'd be a nice chat, you know? Right. If that's okay with you. I mean, I guess. Yeah, I, I guess, right? Don't. You. You're still mad at me then? I wasn't mad at you. Well, you seem mad. Because you lied about me. You told Vinny that I tried it on with you. I know. Uh, I can't. Sauce. So. I'm not mad at you. You are now. Because you're infuriating. Well, yeah, you see. Look, just say it. Whatever it is you're wanting to say, say it. And then, I don't know. All right. I guess what I was um, what I was trying to say was, uh, are you sure? Um. About about like <laughs> about us two, about what I've seen before. You know, you know about like you know. Is this um? Are you kidding? Oh. Yeah, I'm. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah yeah okay yeah fine. <laughs> Some coke or, or some sprite? Do you want you're some? Are you okay? Well, yeah. Or some, some, maybe something else or, or something of some. AJ, are oh, you okay? Yeah, of course. Maybe some, uh, some Fanta? Okay. <laughs> I guess. I, I don't know, we, we have a good chat in that, don't we? And uh, we're the only gays at the school. So exactly. We... <laughs> what? It's not like we're a good fit or anything. We're just the, the only ones that we know of. Isn't it? It's like pandas. What are you about pandas? Everyone is always having a go at pandas in zoos and getting really wound up about pandas because they're endangered, but also they're just not in a rush at all. And the zookeepers go on the news saying they've done everything they can think of. You know, they flew this panda in from a different zoo to try and breed and make a baby panda together, but nothing's happening. You know, and they're all making out. It's really frustrating in that. But I just think, fair enough. There's loads of things you might be looking for in a mate sort of thing. You know, it's not enough that you're both just pandas. Right. You're not even out. <laughs> you're still a virgin. <coughs> and you just got crabs off some lad off the internet? Yeah, but it was worth it, though. Was it? Yeah, it was fun and a bit itchy, but I went to the clinic and got some cream. It was no biggie. Does and sound fun. Plus, the cream they gave you, you got to put it everywhere, you know, hair, body, face. I mixed it in with some coconut oil and it made my skin look properly nice. Everyone was like, AJ, you look immense. And I was like, cheers, I've had crabs. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a laugh, right? Yeah. Yeah. I just feel like we're mates is the thing. I feel like that's better. At the moment, anyway. You know, like, having a mate sort of gets it a bit. <laughs> mate, I am getting it. You no, know, not like that. Just <laughs> makes me feel a bit braver or not as lonely. Right, yeah. But, like, definitely not. Yeah, um... No, if that's so right. Well, yeah, yeah, of course it is. Just, um, checking it. Have you found her? Uh, no. Like, if I was a torch, where would I be? 
I don't know. Okay. Hey, what about your phones? Pardon? Like, <laughs> you've all got torches on your phones, right? Good point. <laughs> I'm just thinking, you know, you're probably right about everything, mate, etc., etc. But I'm just thinking we should probably get off a bit now, just to make sure. <laughs> what? You're amazing. Well, no, think about it though. They always talk about in in movies about what you're on about and stuff. And, and like, they just try it once, and then they're at it all the time, and it's immense. Yeah. No, I think that's just in films. <laughs> <laughs> probably, yeah. Mates is better. Really? Really. Keep imagining we're like properly old. Twenties. <laughs> we're all about dancing. You're pulling this lad. <laughs> At least one? Oh. Come on, five or six. Well, I've spotted someone nice who I've seen about a bit, but he's maybe a bit shy or something. Right. Like a socially awkward hunk. Broad shoulders. Cable nerve. Which I think is probably my type. So a loser. And we're just like, I don't know, your downy shots are not. You know, we've got this night out ahead of us. When fun stuff happens for both of us, even though we have completely different ideas of what fun is. Yeah, I'll be a shagging. Probably. And you'll be drinking tea and thinking about IQ. Exactly. Keep thinking about that. Like, I'm really glad we're mates. Even though it's still early days or whatever. No, I'm really glad you told me that. I'm really glad. I'm really glad. I am. Dick. Because it's good to have mates who are like you, isn't it? But also good to have mates who are completely different. Like, I'm a Ravenclaw, and all of my mates are Ravenclaws. Something different, you know, my first Gryffindor. You think I'm a... Yeah! Jumps head first into things. Thinks it's all about him. Quite annoying. Classic Gryffindor. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'll take it. What, you might. It's like a youth group in town, Wednesday nights. A uh, youth group? Seriously? I've been meaning to go for a while, but I've never quite managed it. Well, um, next Wednesday? <laughs> go on then. Yeah, some of them will probably be up for it, right? Yeah, tell them your crab story, icebreaker. You know what? <laughs> Fucking hell. Danny, you okay? Tell me this has booze in it. Oh. Yeah, tell it um. to me. <laughs> wow, that, that's actually impressive. If you just seen what I'd seen, you'd be necking this too, I promise. What's going on? <laughs> Don't you dare say a thing. Any of you. Right. Okay. Are you all okay? Shut it. Traumatized. A bit. I feel weird. Come What's on. Happened? Yes, someone tell us. I can put Tez in the headlock if you'd like. You're Three. two years older and you're a protein too. Danny. Okay. Fine. I'll tell you. I'll say it once and then we never talk about it again. Oh, this gets better. Deal. Deal. Fine. So. You chuck my cigarettes out there, yeah, that general direction, yeah. Yeah. So I went to get them back. Ended up rummaging around in the undergrowth. Bracken is oh it doesn't matter. I found them. Took a while, but so far so normal. So I was like, in my head, I was like, fine, just smoke here. Thought I'd just hide. There were these two trees with a gap in the middle. Smoke calmed down. So I'm sat there thinking, one cigarette, one. Lovely cigarette, really like enjoying each try and thinking that'll put the jumped up little shit. That's you, by the way. Oops. That'll put the jumped up little shit back in his place. Restore a bit of order, you know, self esteem research in my head. I was thinking I'd really enjoy it. But then. Oh, it's actually too awful. What? Come on, tell us. Gradually, I, I started to realise I wasn't alone. Oh shit, the bed! Bit spooky. Stace, 
Maybe you could. You sure? Well, come on, stay. Just don't leave us hanging. Um, okay, so at this point, I'm looking for Danny. She's not answering her phone. She's not in the car park. So I come back to get you lot. And we head back into the woods. Can you suggest we use our phones for torches? But they actually make things seem a bit creepy. A bit horror filmy, low budget. So we turn them on and just use natural night vision. The moon. Exactly. And people say, don't they, when one sense isn't as good, the others get stronger. And I think that's what must have happened because all of a sudden you can hear like these sort of grunting noises. Oh, no way. Yeah, just like you do. Uh. Oh, please, let this be what I think it is. <laughs> we pop to this clearing, and we see Danny between these two trees. She's like saying, stay back, stay away, but we don't. Um, creep up, and then... And then? Um, it feels sort of wrong. It's quite bad. Quite bad? We can't ever see it. <laughs> Danny, especially. What? And see what? Oh, come on, tell us. Jesus Christ, someone has to bloody tell us. Oh, Danny's mum and dad were dogging. <laughs> what? Yeah. What? <laughs> Danny's mum and dad having sex in the woods. <sighs> we all saw, including Danny. No, 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 you're kidding. You're having me on. What, literally out there. L literally out there right now. Well, they finished now. We waited until they um. We <laughs> <laughs> didn't like to disturb them. Oh, well, well, this is karma. It has to be. No. Oh, well, she's a total dick to us. Goes outside and sees her parents docking. All oh, right. She didn't know Uncle Alan had it in him. All well, right. <laughs> it's a good thing, though. In a way. You know, it shows your parents are. Friends again? You know, back on track, marriage wise. Mm. <laughs> One last thing? Time to move on, I think. Oh, no, sorry. This is a patient! Exactly a good place for a party, and how Anita's probably not being like a party anyway, because like she just lost her dad and everything, and how this is quite a poorly judged thing to do, and how we're quite weird for doing this. And I'm starting to think like, yeah. Now, you're thinking that now. Yeah, because it is a really weird idea. It is so. It'll probably be a disaster, or maybe maybe make Anita more upset. She already is, and it's sort of dawning on me now what a massive, massive, massive mistake this is. I'm just like, I'm just like completely an idiot. I wouldn't want to make Anita sadder for the world. Not for the world. I just wanted to do something nice for her. Something, I don't know, but stuff escalates, doesn't it? It gets a bit out of hand and everyone else brings that mess to it as well. Before you know it, it sort of feels like what's happened here a bit. A lot. Whoa, wait, wait, Frankie's coming. Okay, Frankie. Kate, Kate.
you made up of popped. Uh, I don't understand what's happened. Basically, she's gone home because she didn't want to come out in the first place, like leave the house at all, which we knew might be a bit of a problem. We did say, didn't we? But I mean, I convinced her in the end. I was like, oh, let's just go for a walk, a birthday walk. Told her about my kilometer, how I meant to get the 10,000 steps. She was like, okay. So we did. That is quite good, actually. Yeah. So the plan was working, but then she wanted to go the other way. She was like, oh, I'd really like to just wander around town and maybe, you know, the shops, maybe have a drink, hot chocolate. I had to be like, no. It's your birthday. We trees. Birthday trees. Is that a thing? I was improvising. Stroke panicking and, and she was like, um, okay. So so we got out here. And she was just asking me, Frankie, what are we actually doing? They're not even nice trees. They've got some sort of weird lip disease. Kind of sad. It's actually true. You see? There's a black spot, probably rather. Anyways, I just thought, be honest, come clean. So I said, the reason we're here is everyone's doing you like a little birthday party thing. You know, we just wanted to see you. We didn't think you'd come if we told you. We need Dad gave you the keys to the hall for free. You know, we just thought it would be really nice to be all together with your mates you haven't seen for a while and have some cake. But in the end, I mean, you can see it meant a lot to her, but just... No. Well, she's not here, is she? Right. So to say cheers and everything, though, and she is looking forward to seeing everyone just quietly. You know, when she's ready to. Not today, but... But I, I guess it's like... Her first birthday without her dad and everything. And you know, we're used to seeing her all in charge all the time, but she's not quite in charge just now. Her mum's still in a state. I think she feels weird leaving her. She's still in a state too, I reckon. Never said that, obvs, but. But it turned out she was in a PJs underneath the hoodie. <laughs> I just thought it was leisure wear. Hard to tell sometimes, you know. Post onesie. Right. Well, it was a shit idea anyway. That shit? You literally said this place was shit. Yeah, but not the floor. Thought it was decent. Yeah, it was worth a try, wasn't it? Well, yeah, definitely, mate. What do you say? Definitely. Might as well go then. I don't think anyone else is coming anyway. But there, there might be a few. It's only just time. to make her feel, I don't know, not better, just maybe a bit less shit. It was a really nice thought, Minnie. Like, so misguided, but... Danny! Yep, so... I mean, I can't believe you made, you made all those biscuit stays. It's fine. And Kate, you put up the bunting. I enjoyed it. Magda wrote a song. It was nothing. And Matt, you bought those Skittles. It was just all over. Skittles? Huh? Magda! Wrote a song! For Anita! Didn't have money for a prezzy, so just... What kind of song? Short. And... Good! Ish. Right. I might have a plan. What? We can make this, can't we? Yeah, I guess. What just are you... Just need some... paint. Frankie, mate!
maybe not, actually, it probably won't. Um, basically, right, yeah. Um, right. It is fine, just read me. I am going to read it. Why is that shit? Fee? What? Turn around! Oh, uh, hi, everyone. <laughs> hey, uh, thank you so much for coming. I was really worried no one would turn up, and then, well, it turned up. Well, clearly, everyone. <laughs> um, Frankie, you wanna be. Dobby, Dobby died. <laughs> 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 